<laughs> it's been a long time coming. I am not ready to talk yet, so I'm just gonna keep moving along. <laughs> you know when you're extremely emotional and you can't even put it into words so you just laugh it off? Yeah. I lived with my ex for six years and with my other one for eight years. I was engaged to both of them. This design is so stupid. These overlap. What a dumb, 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 dumb design. I hate not being able to fix things. I don't give up that easily. I love hard, and I've always put my partners first. I can take a lot, but I've been emotionally damaged. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, I knew I shouldn't have that. Okay, I've decided it's finally time to put me first. <laughs> gross. Do you see this outside here? It's gross. We are looking for new homes. Looking at a place downtown. Never thought I'd live downtown, but I mean like, is downtown Winnipeg even downtown? I don't even think it's downtown. First, stop. But if it's not, you won't see a sign like today. Especially when it's cold in Winnipeg. It's beautiful sunshine and for 10 hours now it's white sand beach. The master bedroom is not mastery, but it's not going to fit my style. The balcony is huge, but like, is that necessary? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Can you want to get nailed? Yeah. 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 So I'm looking at another place and it's a little bit expensive. <laughs> but um it might be worth it. Yeah. 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 Oh my god, this place is <gasps> to die for. Can you see me doing YouTube videos here? Some reels, some TikToks. Look at this. <laughs> I think this is too big for just me. The day before, I have to completely move into my new place. I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> like, a lot of stuff. I thought that all this time, like, I was going to be a lot sadder than I am right now. But I'm feeling very content, and I think that probably being sober all of 2003 has a lot to do with it. Also, having my own business that's opening up in Dallas Airport in the fall has a lot to do with it. Having a team of people that I respect and respect me and we bring value to each other, that probably has something to do with it. Oh, fuck. My manager of 10 years being there for me every step of the way has so much to do with it. Wow, now I'm starting to get emotional. So I don't want to talk anymore. I'm gonna get some more tape. <laughs> this is my last night staying at my brother's house. And after this, I will be living on my own for the first time ever in my whole life. I'm really excited for this new chapter and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Cause you know, sharing it with someone else just ain't it. <laughs> the only thing is I gotta fly out right away. Settle in, hang my hat and I'll be back. <sighs> the vacuum is dead, but the show must go on. This is my brother's no longer house anymore. Um, we both were going through breakups at the same time, so it's been a crazy, crazy year so far. That's why I've been trying my best to control the things that I can control in my life. There's a lot of things that I can't control, but what do you do? You find solutions for them. And it just so happens when I'm moving into my place, he's moving out of his place. So my place looks crazy and I got help with his. Today's the last day. So we're just really gonna clean up and get the fuck out. New chapter, you know what I'm saying? 
still so much stuff though, I feel. Uh, real cleaners, holla at you, girl. <laughs> been like eight years in this place. That's that, end of this story. New chapter for him as well. But I'm tired, so I'm on my way to tomorrow. I finally found the strength to leave yet another toxic relationship and take the steps towards a new beginning. A new journey and I'm sharing it with you. I'm scared as heck so hold my hand throughout these series and I'll see you in next week's video.